right, next up on my list are epic fail for my first one. Oh. It's storage bags, which will be really handy. And it's a little frog. She's gonna pet. So I Good morning, everybody. Today I am doing a video about, or I guess this weekend, I'm doing a video about what happens on the weekends when you have teacher duties to do, or like what is a weekend like for a teacher. So normally I've, I've learned from last year, do not hit bring your work home all the time. Like you need to separate school and work. But sometimes, you know, things spill over like we are salary we don't work just 95 or like 645 to 215 the the length of your school day and sometimes things have to spill over but also i'm trying to log my alternative licensure journey for others that might find this helpful and so if again if you have not seen me before my name is stephanie menendez last year i was a spanish teacher this year i'm actually a biology teacher in high school both of them were high school um, but I majored in biological anthropology, minored in biology and Spanish, and I decided to teach. But because I didn't actually major in education, there are other requirements that I need to complete before I can be fully licensed. So one of these is taking the praxis for your subject area. I would like to take mine in biology. So this Saturday morning, 9 a.m. to 12 a.m., or sorry, 12 p.m., hopefully not till 12 a.m., three hours, I'm going to be doing like a workshop to help assist with the science praxis. So I don't really know necessarily what this is going to entail, but I'm really excited about it because I have been putting off studying for the praxis and thinking about the praxis because it's A, a lot of money, and B, it's just another test. And I graduated thinking that I would not have to do many tests anymore. But here we are. Nonetheless, again, um, please excuse my face. Normally I have glasses on, but the glare was too much. And again, it is early on a Saturday, so excuse the eye bags. But yeah, so we're gonna walk you guys through um, what a weekend looks like for a teacher. So the praxis training sort of thing is done now. We finished an hour early, which is nice. But that was really helpful, um, the praxis for those of you who know about teaching and have gone through it yourself is a stressful time for those of us who are wanting to become teachers. It's like a big determining factor on whether or not you get to be a teacher. So that was helpful. But now I actually need to enroll for benefits need to do because the cutoff date is like next Friday. So I'm going to do that. And then hopefully I can take a break and just relax for a little bit of my Saturday. So we'll see. Hello, back again. So I decided to be a good citizen and pay some bills. And that got me thinking that crap, I need to register my vehicle. You know, I need to take care of those things and get an inspection and blah, blah, blah. And I hate that so much. I hate doing anything to my car. I hate it. Like, it's just like, the one task that I dread. So poop, I totally forgot that, you know, you need inspections and like oil changes and stuff because, uh, but anywho. But that also reminded me that I need to text one of my students' parents. So midterm week is coming up and he's got to make a work and I've been talking with his mom and she told me to text her when I sent home all the work so she could check it. So um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. So teacher duties never end. This is what we're learning. We can set them aside. We can do our best to have this nice work-life balance. But with teachers, sometimes, sometimes, you just gotta keep going. But it's worth it in the end. We're helping students out, you know, we're making a difference. And at the end of the day, it is worth it. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> this is something I don't normally do, but I'm gonna food prep a little bit for next week because I have the energy and the time right now. So I'm making some chia seed pudding. It's three tablespoons of chia seed, and then I'm gonna do three fourth cups of almond milk. As you can see, I always get chia seeds everywhere, but this is a really good chia seed recipe and great for breakfast. 
Okay, so this is what it looks like with the milk in. I'm just going to pop the lids on and put it in the refrigerator overnight and it should be good. I think it lasts up to five days, so it'll last me through the week, which will be great. All right, next up on my list are going to be these whole grain pancakes. I bought them literally, or the mix literally years ago, but if you look, it does not have an expiration date. And uh, I've had them before and they were good, so I'm just going to go with it. But I'm going to make enough for... 14 to 16 pancakes to last me, you know, today, tomorrow, maybe throughout the first half of the week. And so let's get started making these. I'm excited. fail for my first one. Oh my goodness. But oh well, I'm sure it'll taste good all the same. Yay! Pancake 2 has much more success than Pancake 1. I'm excited about these. All right, so while I'm waiting for my pancake to be ready to flip, I just wanted to show you my fall decorations. I love these things. I put them over my mantelpiece. I got these cute fake leaves for my birthday and sparkly pumpkins and these are actually they light up i need to put batteries in them but they're like wax um leaves but they light up and that's so cool i got these at marshall's cute little pumpkins in a in a stack and some things that smell really nice like fall and i finally found a table runner that is big enough for my table i love it it's so cute love fall Hello, we are back in my kitchen. Ooh, pink bread. Okay, um, but so today I got my flu shot, got my COVID booster. I thought about getting my car inspection done and then I realized that the car inspection place was close to my joy and surprise and happiness. So I decided to come back home, have some lunch, chill, play with the doggies. And then I went to Target. Excuse me, get out of my groceries. Thank you. I decided to go to Target to wander. It is like my self-care routine for the weekend. Get out of my groceries! And, um, <laughs> yeah, so I got Starbucks there. Normally I don't, but I was feeling like a treat yourself moment. So I got myself some Starbucks. I wandered around, just got a few things. And then I got my baby registry like free pack that I will do like a little unboxing uh, or unbagging for you guys. Um, so I was really excited about that. So yes, by now I will have announced that I am pregnant again. Um, right now I'm 15 weeks. Yes, 15 weeks. And I just created my baby registry last weekend. Um, I'm not finished, but I started it and I could get something free at Target. So I decided to claim that. And then I went to Aldi. So I'm gonna kinda like unpack my groceries first cause I don't want things to, you know, unfreeze and turn bleh. I love Aldi. I can't really film in there because like, it's like always busy and like go, go, go. Like I gotta, gotta grab my stuff and go cause aisles aren't that big. And like, I'm just trying to get out of there. But I spent $86.67, but I got a lot of things. Um, I'm more of like a 
buy like breakfast and lunch for a person. Uh, my husband and I are really bad about cooking dinner, <laughs> but I did get some dinner things, but um, yeah, I'll kind of show you what I got. But I am obsessed with Aldi and obsessed with Target, so today's been good, but I'm trying to get everything done. It's like already 3.15 because by 5, like 5, 6 o'clock, it's like my witching hour, like I'm done for the day. I can't do anything else um, or I feel like death. So we're gonna get this done and then I'll do my unbagging. I'm so excited. Okay, so I pulled a few things out that I'm really excited about that I got at Aldi. So my first one, I get this every single time because I think it's so good in salads and so good by itself for just like lunches and I'm genuinely obsessed with that. I get it every single time. I actually got two bags and it's little cheese cubes. They're Colby Jack cheese cubes and they're just so good. I. I love them and I got some new things this time that I'm really excited about so next week on Monday is Halloween and my friends are coming over next weekend and we're gonna do some fun fall things together so I got these little monster eyeballs sugar 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 cookie kit it's so cute it was just like it was like $2.99 and I thought it would be something fun for um, us to do but I'm I'm really excited about it and I also, so I don't mean to be that like basic girl that just like loves pumpkin, pumpkin spice, butternut squash, whatever, but I'm just obsessed with it. I, I think fall is beautiful. I hate cold weather so, so much, but I will accept this season because it has some of my favorite foods. I love the freshness of like fresh produce that summer brings, but I, just love 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 the taste of pumpkin and butternut squash so i got pumpkin spelt risotto with carrots onions rosemary and spices in a creamy sauce i thought this looked amazing and it was on sale so i don't know if that's a bad sign but i love risotto and i love pumpkin so i was willing to give it a shot actually bought two bags so i'm, I'm confident that it's going to be yummy um and i also got specialty selected gourmet soup butternut squash because last year or no two years ago I made my homemade butternut squash and it was really good but it was so time consuming and I don't have the energy for that right now so I just went ahead and, and treated myself um some of the soups can get kind of expensive like this was like almost four dollars just for like this jar but um I'm, I'm obsessed with butternut squash so I thought I'd do it so that is my small Aldi haul for you guys. I'm gonna quickly put these things away and then we'll get to the Target little baby registry haul. Yay, we have made it to the baby registry, baby pack haul part of this video. So if you create a baby registry online or if you do it in the store, you can get a free little bag. Um, at Target, I just went up to a customer service and was like, hey, I created my baby registry online um, and I'm here for like free gift pack. And um, they just scanned my barcode and they gave it to me. And it's supposed to have over $100 worth of free stuff like samples and coupons and stuff. So I'm really excited and let's dive in. Okay, so Huggies Natural Care Sensitive Wipes. Very nice, there's 16 wipes. This will come in handy. That's one thing I've been obsessed with, like putting diapers and, and the wipes on my baby registry because I feel like that's probably what we're gonna use the most of with our baby. And I would like to not have to pay a between a million trillion dollars on diapers and wipes. Oh, but look here, we've got Honest Wipes. I am really fascinated with the Honest brand and their like diaper brand and stuff. So I really hope that they work well for our baby because I just, I like the brand. Plant-based, um, more sustainable. So I like that. Here we have some breastfeeding, or sorry. Yeah, two disposable nursing pads and two breast milk storage bags, which will be really handy. That's great. And here we've got Draft Stage 1 Newborn, like a laundry detergent sample. So this is cool. I just recently heard that it's probably a good idea to buy so like non-scented and everything free, basically, for your baby 
because they have more like sense of skin. I'm interested to try that, but I'm not sure that I'll be going with that brand. I, I like to look for like more sustainable laundry detergent brands, so we'll see. But it will be nice, and I appreciate that sample. Here we go. Okay, gripe water relieves occasional stomach discomfort from gas, colic, fussiness, hiccups. Very cool. And it also has a save ooh two dollars what coupon and it expires december 31st 2023 this is cool because i just watched a video like this from like i don't know like eight months ago or something and it was a dollar 50 off so they're up in their game i like that <laughs> here is oh cool this is the the wipes that i put on my I, th these are the wipes that i put on my baby registry so it's, it'll be nice to have a little pack to put in the diaper bag these are the water wipes. It comes with some cool information. And on the back, you can win a year's supply. That would be awesome. Um, so these are cool. I'm excited about that. And look, <laughs> a baby bottle. I don't know what it is about baby bottles, but I've just been like, I don't know, obsessed with like looking them up and I don't want to buy too many, but I also want to buy new different ones to try out. So this is really cool. This is like the Dr. Brown's Natural Flow. And, oh, I'm going to open it because I'm just like really excited about this. I don't know, something about the baby bottles and the baby clothes, just like the whole baby thing real. So exciting. Oh, cool. And I've heard these are good to clean too. Like the parts come uh, like apart to clean really nicely, so that's really cool. Oh, that's so exciting. Okay. okay. So, love your Palmer's belly. Massage, lotion, stretch marks. This is actually funny because I just bought a tin um, of like this lotion. I, I kind of have heard mixed reviews about if lotion actually helps with stretch marks. Like, I think it's more genetics than anything. Um, but, you know, it's, it's always good to be moisturized anyways. Here is Boogie Wipes, Gentle Saline Nose Wipes, Snot Your Average Wipe. That's funny. Um, so that's cool. Here is a little sample of Daily Moisture Wash and Shampoo from Avino Baby. That's cool. All right. So then here's just a like say hello to a year of registry benefits. Okay. Yeah. So it's just kind of some information about how to get some some more deals from Target, more diapers. Here are our Huggies special delivery, size one diapers. Actually, oh yeah, okay, size one and there's three in here, so that's cool too. Ooh, our softest with plant-based materials. Hypoallergenic, 100% breathable outer cover, Huggies wetness indicator, very cute. Um, actually, I don't know why that's cute, but I, I saw the little Dalmatian and I was like, that's cute. <laughs> Diapers aren't cute. <laughs> and, oh, cool. Millie Moon. These ones are, I was interested in, too. Like, the packaging is just interesting to me. Um, dermatologically tested, feather soft, 12-hour old Cincy pH balanced liner. So, this is a two-pack, unisex, and um, one, six to 11 pounds. I think it's funny that they include unisex on there. Like, diapers aren't unisex. Anyways. I know they have designs on them now, but I just, I think that's funny that you would, you would need to get like gender or like sex specific diapers. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's cool. They give you a little, um, like gift or receipt, which is cool. But yeah, and it comes in this reusable bag. Cute. I'm so excited about this stuff. It makes it so real. And, um, this has been really fun. I'm really happy. <laughs> I thought... I would just continue with the baby haul because last weekend we went to South Carolina with my parents, my brother, to go see my grandmama. And we ended up going thrifting, which was really fun. And my grandmama and my parents bought me some baby clothes, which is really nice. This one, my grandmama got me and it's a little frog. She's gonna, it's gonna take her a while to grow into this one. But I really wanted to get it because it said that it was made in El Salvador and that's where my husband's family is from. So I thought that would be a really cute thing to show my mother-in-law. So that's really cute. Um, I got this monkey hat. So I studied non-human primates in college and I've just like always been obsessed with monkeys and I thought it would be fitting to 
pass along um, the love for monkeys to my own daughter. It's a little hat, so cute. We got this little ladybug outfit, super cute. So by the time she's about three months, it's gonna be July. Um, so I thought this would be cute for like 4th of July and just like a really cute summer outfit. I love it, ladybug's cute. Here is another cute little outfit. Maybe 4th of July, it says USA, but I really got it just like, cause you know, the monkey. It's really cute, little, little jumper, little romper. And this one, my dad got me. And it's just cute little button up, little pajamas, but it's got a little bear on it that we thought was really cute. So we're excited about that. And yeah, can't believe we're, we're gonna have something so tiny. So cute and tiny. So yeah, there's my little baby clothes haul that, um, my thrifting baby clothes haul. So I think everything in total was like, I don't know, like $5, five, $6, but yeah, it was fun.